and I shall now guide you through phase one of our Bond on a Budget handy hints. So, let's get straight down to business with armour protection. And for just a few hundred pounds, I've come up with this. For a start, I've armoured the body here with steel plate, designed to withstand all small arms fire on the market. And that includes protection to the wheels down there. Just be careful on full lock. Then, to disguise the armour plating from prying eyes, I've broken up the profile, changed the shape, using these discreet sandbags. Then we move on to glass protection. Now, there are a lot of very expensive polycarbonates on the market, but for a lot less, you can do what I've done here. Basically, side windows bought from a scrapyard glued together with bathroom sealant. And I'll vouch there's nothing in a terrorist arsenal that can get through that lot. Now, one last important point on budget. I have managed to save money in all sorts of places here, and that's good, but I really could only afford to armour one side. So, in a terrorist attack situation, it's very important you remember. Always try and get them to attack this side. Our Bond car will be tested by live weapons fire at this armoured car testing facility deep in the heart of the Welsh countryside. OK, so the performance has suffered a bit. And the handling. And the visibility isn't brilliant, if I'm brutally honest, but at least you'll get where you're going in one piece, so long as they always shoot at, at this side here. With the Bond car in place, I decided to go for an extra tough armour test. Now, normally, here at this firing range, when they test armoured cars, they use 7.62mm bullets like this one. But I'm not going to bother with these. I'm so confident in my armour plating that I'm going to up the stakes and ask the shooting guys to use these. 50 cal. These things are the Manchester United of bullets. They can travel at around 3,000 feet per second and stop anything in their path. But let's see if they're any kind of a match for the Top Gear James Bond Range DB5 Rover. holding up quite well. The wall, not so. Oh, God. Oh. I might have spoiled the range a bit. My scrapyard glass system hadn't fared too well either. But on the plus side, the steel plate had held up nicely. Now let's see if it starts. Obviously, it's very important you carry a face mask with you because following a terrorist attack, there'll be a lot of glass dust around in the car, and that's nasty stuff. And some big gloves as well. Right, let's see. <sighs> oh, yeah. And the windscreen wipers, this is... This is very James Bond indeed. I don't know what that beep is. Oh, I've got a bulb failure. Never mind, let's go home. <laughs> 